I was born in a small cabin made of pine logs taken from the hills of the woods of northern New England. It was during the night of a near perfect storm, a nor'easter we call them, sleet, snow, and a gale force wind. It's a different kind of wind that blows now, the winds of change that are sweeping down from the north. I come to you as a candidate for the presidency of the United States of America. I am affiliated with a party of the people, by the people, and for the people, Blue Bush Indy. Blue Bush Indy says it's time. Time for all citizens of this great land to unite and rise up as one. Of course, these congressmen, senators, cabinet members, appointees, vice presidents and presidents are good people, or at least they were before they were first elected, but they change, and the change begins almost immediately when they cross that river and get their first view of these symbolic landmarks of our great democracy. They are taken in, ground up, repackaged, reformed, and spit out the other end of the great machinery of the powers who have a vested interest in maintaining the status quo as a bottomless trough from which they can feed their boundless and insatiable greed. When the office holders leave the warm embrace of the capital cocoon, they emerge transformed, larva-like, with their corporate consultancies, their boards of directorships placements, their hidden heaps of unspent campaign cash, and their malodorous book deals to live the rest of their lives in lavish luxury and comfort while the rest of us relently to, re, while the rest of us relentlessly chip away and continue to chop off a small pebble of that which has been sold to us as the great american dream in the past land was the major manifestation of wealth in the mid 18th century that changed our industrial revolution depends on consumption the more gadgets and gigas we consume, the more we want. It's an endless itch-scratch cycle. This cycle has served as a convenient veil, a veneer behind which the powers have perpetuated their colossal crimes and fed their boundless greed. They've exerted a near complete control of all that was once held sacred in our great American democracy. Add to this mix advertising, which began to take hold in the 1890s, and we suddenly begin to envy that which our neighbor has. As we envy the neighbor next door, we lose sight of the wanton accumulations of vast levels of wealth, a corporate conspiracy taking place right here under our very noses, here in Washington, D.C. Win, lose, or draw, the desperate lot of the disenfranchised mass majority continues unabated. While being turned away, I have discovered, oddly enough, your eyesight gets better when you look within. In so doing, I have seen the future, and it looks like me. Where others see darkness and decadence, I see dawn and delights. I have seen you. There are 77 million of you out there and you know who you are. With our motto, vote or don't, we employ the powers of positive cynicism in an attempt to restore participatory democracy. All of you, I implore you, vote for a future that's now. Vote Blue Bush. Almost.